Um, I'm going to be continuing where we left where we um, left in the last video. So um, um, there's something I quickly wanted to show you uh, on the master page. Uh, source is it the source of them? Okay, yeah. So um, as I was as I was saying earlier on about uh, CSS, if you go to the master page, the master. If you go to the source view, you can see that all the modification that we're doing on the master page is being added as a CSS. If you know your cascading style sheet, um, if you don't know your cascading style sheet very well, you can leave a comment there. Maybe I can do a quick video so you can you know have know how to design a very beautiful website. You know, but I'm not going to be doing any beautiful website here. It's just a quick introduction. So um, <coughs> usually designers are not programmers. That's why we um, uh, companies they always have like two separate. That's why actually it's good for us to be able to separate our codes. You know, you can separate the design from the logic, so you can have all the geeks writing the books, and you can have all the people that knows how to design a beautiful website to, you know, do the graphics and the CSS and all that. Anyway, but if you know how to do both, that's very very advantage. So, anyway, so this is where the all your C sharp is being placed at the top here and uh, this is the rest so now let me take you to the design view and tell you how to add content because right now if you go to the default or aspx or page 2 if you uh, switch to the design view can you see what is happening i cannot write anything so how do i modify the content oh my god oh my god how do i modify the content <laughs> if you go to the page 2 it's the same thing if you switch to the design view you can't write anything on it because this is the master page you cannot modify it so that's why we have the content placeholder remember we have the content placeholder also this is something that might get you confused you see the cursor is being placed right in the middle it's being placed right in the middle so if you type it's going to start up in the middle it can drive you mad if you don't know what to do but i'm here for you all you have to do is just go to the um style area see this area style click on it for that particular page that you want to modify <coughs> go to the I think it's the block yes the block and just click on the vertical align and choose top vertical align is top if you click OK so when you type can you see magic it's magic it's not magic you just have to know your way around this thing anyway now that we've placed um, of uh, course at the top it's time to choose a content place order <coughs> so drag the content place order into the area where you want the content to go so if you want the content to go here if you also want to have a content in this area as well you know but I'm not gonna be adding content in this I, want, I only want my content to be in this section so uh, <coughs> I'm going to be adding the content place order so now if we save this and we go to our default ASPX. Can you see now we have somewhere to type? Create custom content. So now you see we can start typing. Uh, this is the default. Uh, I can't type default page. I hope you understand what is going on <laughs> right so this is our content place order and we can start typing inside same thing goes for our page 2 now we have our uh, custom content so if you click on that say create custom content now you can say this is the second page using master page is very cool right so <coughs> now if we run this page you will see that what we've typed is actually what it is you see this is the second this is the second page using master page very cool and that's page to the ASPX also here the default ASPX if you run it here you, know, you get the content that you type so what does that mean I'll show you what it means this is this is actually making me angry why does it uh, I want it to be how many pixels? Uh, let me 
make a outside anyway so if I had another page say page 3 had a new item and it's web form and I said page 3 we automatically get page 3 dot ASPX I want to select a master page if I add it select the master page so if we go to the design view you see automatically we get this create custom content so we can type in our content uh, what what we want to type which is um, this is the third page and we are enjoying uh, our star page <laughs> Uh, anyway, you get the idea now. So if we run that, we can see that um, our third page has been created and um, it's looking good. So that means from now on, you can um, have a website that has the same look and feel. I can change this one to page 2. Let me change this one to page 2. Dot ASPX, page 2. And automatically we get that. And... Um, uh, that's it really uh, so I'm going to come back for um, to show you how to continue with your master page